Okay, I'm actually gonna close this door and there's gonna be a beautiful reveal when Anna gets here. Actually, I do want Corinna. Corinne? She just went to microwave Anna's coffee. <laughs> she only knew. Did she know that it's good to microwave? I didn't think so. Tell us what we were doing today. Today is one of the biggest days for the designers. They come, we give them five models. They have brought five looks that they think best illustrate their brand, who they were in the past, who they are now, and who they can be in the future. And they will walk into a very intimidating room and look at the Mount Rushmore of judges and basically pitch them on why they should win the fashion fund. But as soon as models are ready, you can start dressing your people. It's like a first date. Some are cuter, some have cuter personalities. It's really like a first impression that sets you up either for success or to be digging yourself out of a hole for the next five months. I watched the previous season of the show and go through the possible questions. We came up with 14 questions amongst us. So if they ask, like, you know, what were your sales last year? I'll be like, I got that. But then she's got that. <laughs> we did this a million times before, but now it's with very, very important people. <laughs> This really is us, it's our DNA. I don't know if there's anything else we could talk about more passionately or confidently. I went through a lot of looks to sort of decide on the final five. This is sort of like the hardest part to me in the competition. No, I'm definitely nervous. I mean, multiple different emotions, nervous, excited. We've been doing so much prep like leading up to it. Cups, GoPros? Oh, these are going too smoothly and I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. How are you feeling? I am looking for Dion though. Always have a female model. <laughs> no offense, guys. No, we have a lost model. Model on the loose. Anna will be here in like five minutes. If we can have all the food away, everybody just doing what they're supposed to be doing. I was just saying, we have to think of some new and different questions. I know, I feel the same way. The judges really grill the designers, but they like to have a little bit of fun with it. What do you think about Brexit? <laughs> How will it affect your business? That's a good idea. <laughs> Who you weren't voting for in the election? Oh, well, that's, yeah. yeah, we can ask that. Can we ask that? This is the biggest moment for these guys to really impress the judges. You're doing well. Hi, Hi. Jeff. How are you? How'd a hand out? Okay, let's go. What do you expect? Me to crush it. <laughs> We started with this hand-built mobile crew cart, which is like a mobile sales cart, and now we have a beautiful flagship store in the heart of the French Quarter. Do you hope to expand beyond glasses? Without a doubt. So we launched a small optical test about a year ago, and we're gonna launch optical in 2017. Darling, you seem to have it all figured out. What what can we help you with? <laughs> <laughs> so much. Did Dion ever show up, my other model? We're on the hunt for him. I wanted to create a line that is classic and timeless, but still with a lot of detail, and you can touch. <laughs> it's a very cluttered market. Why did you start, and why did you think you had something different to say? Well, I love shoes, so I would not imagine doing anything else, and I feel there's a lot of men designing. I feel I have a sensitive, more feminine point of view. Very nice. Thank, Thank you, you so much, guys. My main goal is to show that lingerie can be fashion. I'm Morgan Curtis, my brand's called Morgan Lane, and I started painting dolls and use one of the dolls as my brand muse, Laney. I do all custom hardware, if you'd turn around. If you were to win, how would you use the money, the exposure? I used all the money that I made to launch it, literally every single penny. I would love some direction and to expand the team. Good luck. I could see that whole doll thing working in Asia. We've Morning. brought you samples of shoes. The first look is the foldable shoes. We actually tapped into making cashmere socks. Very nice. You guys are sisters? The sisters from Iran. <laughs> and do you make money? No. No. That's <laughs> a model who went outside and got arrested. The model got arrested? He was arrested. I'm gonna walk you through five looks. Come a little bit closer. Everyone take the jacket off. This is elastic. What do you think your customer is attracted to in your brand? From like the super fashion kid to the kid in Arizona who wants to be the fashion kid. It kind of hits like multiple different like demographics. And ideally, I would love to do like a vertical business. I would love to do online. I would love to do in store only. Good stuff. Hi. Okay, so should we move on to the next? Look? Okay, we Brock. Jeans were something we wanted to do for a very long time. We're happy. We sold a thousand pairs. We wanted to design an evening gown that was approachable. Who are you designing for? Are you designing for her? Yes. I made a course. Wow, she's asking. 
My name is Beckett, and this is Piatric, and we design area. We specialize in textile development. So we partially construct the garments and put them into the machine and emboss them. This suiting is actually also hydrophobic. Red wine, water, it will just fall directly Can off, you which... Touch it? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, touch her. <laughs> Are you interested in doing performance clothes? Rihanna wore, wore some stuff. Um, Did you mean performance like sport or? Active wear. Active wear, sorry. <laughs> We're like at the club. <laughs> I love arts and crafts. I was raised on arts and crafts. Did you tie the little bows for all that sweater? Yeah, I love a pom-pom, love a bow. Often I say Adam Selman is big coat, little dress. Why did you uh, apply? Why did I apply? I mean, I need the mentorship and the money. Like, I am I'm hustling, you know what I mean? Like, day to day, it is really a struggle. Thank you so much, guys. Rochambeau, men's. We were like, what are all these button-ups? This isn't our style. We were like looking at street, admiring the brands that were making things happen. We were also looking overseas at what was going on. We were like, there's gotta be a different style here. I consider him a dreamer in a sense. I have to rein him back a bit because he will go crazy at times. They may have to dress for the next no use oh. day. Oh. The models go. Oh. Did yeah. you already yeah. tell us how you work that, together? Three, uh, lightly. Two, one. It's been a process. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it's a pleasure. Oh, we're good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I wanna keep going. <laughs> he didn't come up for air. <sighs> Depends how much you want to show. There's some more sudden exposures. There's some um, exaggerated sleeves. There's more openings. So more like the body shapes than, you know, the boobs and butts and things like that. <laughs> Her shoulders are nice, but... <laughs> you want a glass of water? Yeah, maybe. Thank you. It looks like she's going to faint. <laughs> and who would you like your mentor to be? My mentor? Um, I don't know the options. <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll give the judges a few minutes to deliberate and put their thoughts together about who did well. I think she has something. I do think. You like her? Who didn't we like? Area I struggled with a little. Oh my. Which is the area? <laughs> it's a kind of very specific generational idea of glamour. And I think that we could help them. And Adam really impressed me. A little confusing. Yeah, I like Adam. Do you think he can survive? I think he could survive. He needs to get like a big partner and we'll put him in a contemporary space. What are your opinions between Stamped and Rochambeau? Pretty the end of the Rochambeau show, I, I didn't understand how any of it really went that together. Lost. I think Stamped is more thought out and I'm surprised I've never heard of it. I also like the Iranian flat girl. <laughs> you didn't like Chloe Shu so much? No, I thought she was impressive. Morgan Lane. The dull lady. Eight o'clock in the morning, up seeing lingerie is difficult. <laughs> You'd walking up next to it, it might feel different. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> yeah. And I like rock. I must yeah. say that. I, like rock. I mean, they're like this perfect <laughs> couple, and they're so beautiful, and they don't fight. I mean, it had the right balance of wearability and interesting ideas. We all love Brock, and we all love Sterling. 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 It's not like anything else in the market. And it's a scale and of the business. SLB, just tell us who is best backstage. I would say Miriam and Marjan from Newbark are the most hyperactive. I got 80 emails between the two of them. <laughs> I think Morgan is very quiet, but the more you talk to her, I think the smarter you can tell she is. I mean, it's yeah. very interesting. It's right? going to be fun to see how they progress. Quite an impressive crop. Thank you, Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. So how do you feel like it went? I feel like it went really, really well. They certainly know the designers a lot better after this morning. They know their clothes, they know their personalities. So the next thing the designers really have to gear up for is the design challenge.